This is Muscat. Muscat, also called Muscat, is the capital and largest city of Oman. From the 1st century AD, Muscat was an important port located between the Western and the Eastern world. Through the years, various great nations ruled over this city, such as the Persians and the Portuguese. Influences of it can still be found here. The city is characterized by white low-rise buildings and surrounded by mountains. So beautiful! In this travel guide, I will tell you all about things to do, what sites you should not miss and the best places for food and drinks. First, how to get to Muscat. We ourselves flew from Amsterdam to Muscat with a 4-hour layover in Istanbul. The flight cost is about 420 euros per person and the total travel time was about 13 and a half hours. Things to do in Muscat. The most popular site is undoubtedly the Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque, Oman's largest mosque. The mosque covers an area of 40,000 square meters and is built of 300,000 tons of Indian sandstone. The complex features five minarets, of which the tallest is 90 meters high. The central dome of the mosque rises about 50 meters above the ground. Did you know a total of about 20,000 people can pray at the same time here? Inside the mosque is a prayer carpet that covers the entire floor of the prayer hall. It took no less than four years to make the carpet. In other words, the carpet is huge. In fact, it was one of the largest single-piece carpets in the world, but this record has since been broken by the carpet in Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi. The chandelier hanging in the mosque was also one of the largest in the world, but also that record has been smashed by the one hanging in Abu Dhabi. Both the mosque and the complex grounds are very beautiful. You can easily spend one or two hours walking around here. So we are at the Sultan Qaboos Mosque right now, which is the largest mosque in Oman. It's also one of the busiest places we visited in Oman. There are hundreds of people here. If you want to visit, make sure you dress modestly, which means you have to cover your arms, your legs, and as a woman, you also need to cover your hair. Please note, if you want to visit the Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque, you must wear long pants or a skirt that covers your ankles. In addition, women should wear long sleeves and cover their hair with a scarf or something similar. Then, walk along the Mutra Cornage to Mutra Castle. The Mutra Cornage is a 3 km long boulevard that runs along the water and all kinds of stores, cafes and restaurants. Along the boulevard, you will also find Mutra Souk, Mutra Fish Market and the Mutra Fort. Most likely, you will also spot the Sultan's multi-million dollar yacht here in the water. The Mutra Souk is one of the oldest Arab souks in the world. It's a big maze where you can wander around for quite some time. The stores sell different products such as spices, clothing, jewelry and much more. Are you looking for a souvenir? Then you've definitely come to the right place here. The Mutra Souk is open every day from 9 till 11 am and then again from 4 till 10 pm. A little tip, take some cash with you. Although you can use debit cards in some stores, mainly they only use cash. Next, visit the Al Alam Palace. Located in Old Muscat, the Al Alam Palace is one of the Sultan's royal residences. The palace was built in 1972 and is mainly used for ceremonies and receiving high-profile guests. The palace is not open to visitors, but you can view the building from the outside. At the back side of the palace, you can see that it is surrounded by a number of old forts built by the Portuguese in the 16th century. Then, the Royal Opera House. The Royal Opera House is a beautiful building that hosts a variety of artistic, cultural and educational performances. It is the main stage for musical art and culture in Oman and seats about 1100 spectators. In Muscat, you will find several viewpoints from where you can enjoy a beautiful sunset. Our favorite spot is Yiti Round Point of View. From here you have a beautiful view of the districts Hamria and Rui. Next up, enjoy a high tea at the Atrium Tea Lounge. You will find the Atrium Tea Lounge in the Albusan Palace Rich Carlton Hotel, a 5-star hotel. The lounge is located in a 38 meter high dome and there is a huge chandelier hanging. When you walk in, you truly feel like you're visiting the Sultan. Everything is just so pretty. You can enjoy a delicious afternoon tea here. They serve a selection of sandwiches, mini desserts and of course scones. They also serve a variety of teas, which you can order as much as you like. 
Meanwhile, you can enjoy beautiful live piano music. The afternoon tea is served daily between 2 and 5 p.m. and costs about 30 euros per serving. Do you like diving or snorkeling? The perfect spot for this is the Damignat Islands. We did two dives ourselves and spotted one leopard shark, many turtles and a huge tuna among other things. The islands also lend themselves perfectly for a snorkeling trip or dolphin spotting. Between July and September is whale shark season, so if you're very lucky, you may even spot a whale shark here. Next, visit Al Moosh district. Al Moosh is a luxurious community located near Muscat Airport. The purpose of this community is to bring together people and businesses of different cultures. You will find luxurious apartments, a marina, diving schools and a golf course among other things. It is also home to a variety of restaurants and cafes where you can go for a bite to eat, drink or smoke a shisha. Because all the buildings are very modern, Almush has a very different vibe than the rest of the city. Every Saturday there is a farmer's market held in Almush. You will find several stalls where they sell fresh fruits, healthy dishes as well as handicrafts. The market is held from 8.30 am till 3 pm. Do you have some extra time to spare? Then you can also visit the following attractions near Muscat. First, the Bema Sinkhole. About a one and a half hour drive from Muscat, you will find the Bema Sinkhole, a crater filled with clear blue water. You can visit the Bema Sinkhole from Muscat or as a stopover on your route to Sur. According to a local legend, a meteorite struck this spot creating the Bema sinkhole. However, in reality, it was formed by a collapse of the surface layer due to dissolution of the underlying limestone. Make sure to bring your swimwear, because if you want, you can take a lovely refreshing dip here. You can also visit Wadi Shop from Muscat, which is also about a one and a half hour drive. Wadi Shab is a beautiful canyon with a clear turquoise river and a number of natural pools. You will also find a large cave with a waterfall flowing into it, which is very cool. A visit to Wadi Shab takes about 4 hours, since the hike to the natural pools is about 1.5 hour. Bring good shoes for the hike and water shoes for in the Wadi. If you want to bring camera gear, make sure you have a waterproof bag with you, because in some parts of the water it's very deep and you cannot stand. Then, food and drinks. In Muscat you will find numerous nice restaurants and cafes. Here are some of our favorites. The Calabash Lounge, Mani's Gourmet Cafe, Zar El Laimun, and the Atrium Tea Lounge. So that's it for my Muscat video. I hope you guys liked it or found it helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss any future videos. I hope to see you guys for my next one. Bye!